Hey everyone, I'm Raw Food Chef Kai Rivka from TheLivingVision.com here on behalf of Living Tree Community Foods. And today I am going to share with you a new olive oil that Living Tree is producing. It is called the Eight Fruit Heirloom California Olive Oil. This is a live, organic, unheated, unfiltered, extra virgin. And I have to say that it is the most delicious olive oil I have tried to date, seriously. Um, the flavor is mild, creamy, fruity. It is not bitter, it's not spicy. Um, and I like that too sometimes, but this is just overall delicious olive oil for dipping or for dressing a salad um, or you know whatever you would use a fresh unfiltered raw organic olive oil for. Um, this one is just the most phenomenal tasting olive oil I have tried to date. So I'm going to highlight this in a couple ways today. We're going to make bruschetta boats and um, what we're going to do is a very very simple um, recipe for a tomato salad and a basil oil. It's very similar to a pesto um, but it's just really simple. I just want to use a few ingredients and make something that is deeply, deeply satisfying, something you can make very quickly um, at home for yourself. So let's get started. Uh, what we're going to start with here is two cups of whatever type of cherry tomato you love. I like the sweet ones, so I'm going for um, these little sweet cherry tomatoes. And I'm just going to take those using my food processor with a slicer blade. This is the easiest way to do it. We're just slicing up these tomatoes. Making a little mess in the meantime also. Okay. That's all there is to it. I've made this recipe before and posted it on my Facebook page and people are like, how did you slice up cherry tomatoes? Well, that's how. That's the way to do it. So I'm just going to take all these tomatoes, transfer them to a bowl. And today I'm really not using, using measurements. Uh, this is how I cook at home and I want it to be really easy for you as well. So we're just going to do a little eyeballing here um, and make a really delicious, easy, easy um, tomato salad. And you can use the salad for your bruschetta boats like I'll be doing today, or you know, just use it to go on top of a regular bed of lettuce, um, or on top of a pate, or with your, uh, if you're making zucchini noodles and a zucchini noodle pasta, you can use this for that as well. So after that, we are going to get our garlic press. And I'm just going to press a couple of small cloves of garlic into that. You can also dice your garlic if you want to. Uh, just think, make it as easy as possible, right? So we'll slice that in there. Okay, and I'm also going to add just a small amount, maybe a couple teaspoons to a tablespoon of some lemon juice. And then we're going to take this super tasty olive oil and just drizzle it right over the top like you would if you were making yourself a fresh salad. So I'm just going to drizzle a little of that right over the top. And if you get a little of that oil on your skin, just rub it on in. Skin food. Okay, and finally we're just going to add a little bit of sea salt. Um, and I'm going with the Royal Himalayan Sea Salt. Uh, Living Tree has three varieties of mineral-rich sea salt, and that is what you want. You want a mineral-rich sea salt. This one has all 92 minerals. There's the Hawaiian Alley Red Sea Salt with, uh, that's fortified with iron um, and clay, volcanic clay, which is amazing. Uh, and then there's the, um, I believe it is the 
uh, Celtic sea salt. Um, it's the gray salt, which is also a wonderful salt. Um, so any of those salts, and I just put a couple pinches in there, and then we are going to stir this together. And that is all there is to it. And especially with those sweet tomatoes, it's really, really delicious. So once we have that well stirred, we'll set it to the side and we'll go on to the rest of our bruschetta boat. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to set this on the counter and the next step here is to make our basil oil. So I'm using my Vitamix blender. You can use a, a regular household blender as well. It will not become as emulsified, I don't believe. Um, but that's fine. It doesn't need to be. I'm taking uh, what seems to be a very large handful of basil. If you go to the health food store, they usually sell a nice big bunch. So this is one bunch of basil. And if I put it in my Vitamix blender really loosely, I have here, it goes up to about the six cup mark. So that's six cups of basil. Then I am pouring in um, about one average size lemon um, juiced. I'm also going to add into it, I'm using about four uh, small cloves of garlic. That might also be one and a half large cloves of garlic. I'm adding in one more because I like, I like the garlic. It's so good for your body as well, well, your cardiovascular system, your intestines. It's just a great food, so we're adding extra garlic in there. And then, um, again, I'm using our Royal Himalayan pink sea salt from Living Tree. And I'm going to add quite a bit of that to, to our um, basil oil. I like, uh, I like it to be a little on the saltier side. Because it's a garnish, we're just dressing, using this as a light dressing. So it brings out a lot of flavor to have that salt. But again, you do it to your own taste. So start with a pinch and see if you'd like a little more. I'd say around a half a teaspoon should be a good place to start on that. And then just add a bit more if you want to. And also, I'm making these things mild because um, it will be food for my son as well. Um, and... Uh, you could also add some fresh crushed black peppers. So that's what I'm not adding to it that would be another added uh, flavor that our more mature palates might enjoy better than my three-year-old. So, um, okay, we've got that in there, and our final ingredient here is going to be some of the olive oil. Now, normally I also wouldn't measure that out. I would just add uh, my intuition's fill on that, but I'll go ahead and measure that so that you will have an idea of where to start. And I have my handy dandy metric wander cup. Let's say about three quarters of a cup on that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this to the three quarter line. Do you see that beautiful color on this olive oil? It is just gorgeous. You have got to give this eight fruit heirloom California olive oil a try. I mean, it is the finest oil I have tasted. I said it already, creamy, smooth, fruity. Um, the flavor is really special. I'm very impressed. Thank you, Living Tree, once again, for your awesome, awesome ingredients. Okay, once you have all of that in your blender, you're going to blend and blend and blend until it's emulsified, and that's it. You could strain it if you wanted to to separate the fiber from the oil and just have a really fine oil. But I like to have the basil leaves in there as well. So I'm just going to blend this until it's well emulsified. Let's go. consistency we have here. 
It's just gorgeous. And that's perfect. That three quarters of a cup worked just perfectly. It's a deep, deep, rich green color. And you'll just store this in, in a jar in your fridge. Um, and I like it with everything. I'll eat this with salad. I just used some that I had left over from previously for kale chips. I just tossed it on my kale chips, threw it in the dehydrator, tossed it on my kale, threw it in the dehydrator, and had some delicious pesto flavored chips um, left. Edit, edit, edit. We'll just wait for that to stop ringing. Thank you, sweetie. I'm not going to pick it up, though. That was really smart of you to bring the phone to me. Okay. Okay, you can call someone. Oh, thank you, honey. I appreciate that. I love you. Okay. Okay. Where was I? Um, so you can use that for a variety of things. Also, if you eat steamed quinoa or steamed veggies, it's really, really nice on there. Um, just have fun with it. So we basically have all of the ingredients that we need for our bruschetta boats. So uh, one thing that I have here is some cauliflower parmesan. I wanted to make this a completely nut-free option. As far as the food, it will, will be a really nice appetizer or... Um, a side entree to your meal. Um, so instead of the mac nut or Brazil nut or almond parmesan that I've made in the past, I just used cauliflower and broke it into florets, pulsed it in my food processor with the S-blade, added a pinch of salt, and that's all I did. However, if you were interested in adding more flavor and even more of a cheesiness to it, add a little nutritional yeast to that and that will really bring out a nice cheesy flavor. You can even add a bit of garlic to it as well for a nice addition. So it looks uh, a lot like your Parmesan cheese. It's going to add a nice color and texture to our boats. So let's put this all together now. I have a plate here with a couple um, baby red leaf lettuce pieces, or not baby, but from the red leaf heart. You could use romaine. Um, and you could use any other type of leaf that will hold itself up. So that's your boat. This is what our bruschetta is going to go into. So you could uh, do a little drizzle of your basil oil right over the center of that boat. And then we will take our tomato salad. and place that right on top of the basil oil. And for color and pizzazz, we're gonna add another little drizzle of our basil oil right on top. And of course, flavor. That will add a very nice flavor to it. Okay, and for a finishing touch, we are going to sprinkle a little bit of our cauliflower parmesan. And that's it. Those are our bruschetta boats. And again, we're featuring the eight fruit Heirloom California Olive Oil from Living Tree Community Foods. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Again, I'm Raw Food Chef Kai Rifka from TheLivingVision.com. Here on behalf of Living Tree Community Foods, we love you. We look forward to seeing you again. Try this one at home. It is so quick, so easy, so nourishing and delicious. We'll see you soon. Bye.